consider uh, what to study. Okay, so now you want to do CAIA assuming. So this is relating to Joanne, what's being tested. Here for um, the curriculum, it's really AI focused. Everything we do is AI. So basic things we will not touch on. Good thing is for the curriculum, as Joanne has mentioned, everything we do is AI focused. So there might be some, uh, um, there might be some overlap with other uh, destinations like CFA, but if you compare what we do, uh, even our level one is much more difficult than the others uh, AI section. So that might be something to consider. Also to consider, the curriculum is very general. So it tells you everything about AI, but normally how we <laughs> operate is we're very focused. We don't do many things, but we try to do one or two which are very, very good at and can make money. So uh, the one we have in level one, it's a good overall perspective on what everyone in AI do. But it will not give you a very detailed look at what they do every day in details, because uh, it might be too difficult and you have to learn on the job. But uh, that's one thing to consider as well. Uh, I guess the more important question is, if you want to be in it, uh, will this help you? Unfortunately, uh, consider this. You have someone that is making lots of money. They trade, they press a button, it can be millions, billions of dollars of gain and loss. It's unlikely they will hire someone with no experience fresh uh, to work with them, right? It depends on what you have on the table, but unlikely you will be hired direct. Uh, so directly, if you think, oh, I want to apply for a job, and you'll be sitting next to a hedge fund manager doing trading with him, it's unlikely. They want some track record, they want to know what you can do before they hire you, because they're not going to waste time uh, training you. But indirectly, it can be very easy. Um, I got, for me, myself included, I try to look for people to help me in my programming and other things. I have friends that need people to run and do various things. It's impossible to find good people. Average people, there are plenty. But the, the one we need, it's hard to find. I looked everywhere, sometimes it's hard. So indirectly, I know many people that in the support or those that help the manager eventually as they learn the ropes of how they do become the manager themselves because they learn how they do uh, but they don't do it directly first so uh, indirectly very likely uh, there's high demand for jobs so it'll be a good place to start if you're very interested in AI <laughs> and you think you have what it takes to do it okay so this is on what's being tested uh, I would not go to the details because you can pretty much download it from the website on the curriculum part. Uh, but overall, for level one, it's very general basic knowledge. So what's being, uh, what, what you need to study on those books, it's very descriptive. It describes, for example, all the various hedge fund strategies, what they do, what are the risks, what do they look for. So it's very generic, descriptive uh, uh, parts on, on each type of AI. In terms of testing, you got some simple calculations. So it might be some ratios like sharp, uh, uh, other information ratio, whatever, the simple calculations. There's some comparison of details. For example, uh, you might need to compare in the question two types of hedge fund, how do they compare, what their risks are, etc. Some memorization. Sometimes you'll be asked if I have uh, a certain type of hedge fund and I need a good benchmark, what do I do? And you have to memorize, oh, for this type of hedge fund, I need this type of benchmark to be uh, the best. So some memorization, but not too much. For level two, now this gets much better. So we still have, like Joanne mentioned, we still have some basic things, but more in depth. But now what you're being tested will be linked in some way, because you have the essay in it. So here, it's more, it's, it's no longer calculation, it's quantitative. 
So you'll be, you have some hardcore calculations, but not doing it by hand. Uh, the question will ask you whether you understand it or not. The numbers will be simple, but if you don't know how the system works, you would not know what it's talking about. So it'll be quantitative. Uh, for example, there'll be binomial trees. Normally, people use it to do options. But here, it's being used to do CDS for pricing the probability. So uh, that's one way to use this. The other might be more normal of a private equity. They normally have clawbacks on their fees. So some question might ask, uh, the, the private equity is now in the sixth year. They receive some fees early in, in the second year. Last two investments don't do too well. Clawback calculation, how to do it. Right? So there'll be minor things like this where it's not the run-of-the-mill calculations. And if you look at the two books for level two, one of the book is on research. So it looks at the latest research on hedge funds and AI. Uh, what strategy works, what doesn't seem to work, and so on. So there will be some parts based on those research. Okay. Uh, so we have essay. This is the main part. I'm not sure how good you are, but Multiple choice is easy. Uh, CFA now has three, three, three choices, uh, one out of three. Uh, for CAIA, we're in the process of moving over. So starting maybe two or three years ago, two years ago, the study of three selection multiple choice, uh, some of before it's four. So for multiple choice questions, even if you have not studied, you still get maybe 25, 33 percent. <laughs> Right. For the essay, now it's more difficult. So as you see, for CFA level three, you also get essays. It tests whether you know the stuff, because it can ask uh, pretty good questions that way. Uh, there's no chance you can you know, get one quarter, one third by chance. So for this, depends on who you are and how you are. There's two additional skills you need, other than just purely quantitatively know how the, the material works. So we'll be reading what they give you and understanding what they ask. It's a big issue. Uh, we have a wide scope of, of material. Reading the question, it's, it's easy, but understanding what it asks and answering the right thing in the right length will be difficult. Okay, so that's one additional skill you need to maybe practice as you get to level two, uh, plus writing and planning. You have limited time. Uh, it's good they use a computer, so you don't have to erase and doing things, but you still have to plan, given the marks and the time you have, what you can write. Okay? So that's two additional things you need to uh, uh, be uh, practicing on in level two. In terms of study time, um, again, I cannot tell you any details. In, if you look through the CAIA website, they have indications of time you need. Again, just like any other test, they would say they, uh, they recommend that much, but in reality, it takes much more to be proficient and knowing your past. So consider those times. And in addition, it depends on what you're good at. Uh, like Joanne mentioned earlier, some Asians have been reading and studying things all their lives. So for level one, it might be easier for them or for us because it's purely reading materials, learning it, highlighting it in yellow and then summarizing, knowing how it's being asked and pick out the right points. So level one would be pretty good that way. Level two, it's more difficult and that would really depends on how quantitative you are. If you are good at math, you know some basics in terms of quantitative issues and questions, uh, this part might be easier. If you don't, then it will take you quite a bit of time to get up to date on the concepts. Okay, so one thing uh, on level two might be more difficult in terms of uh, you can read the, the article. Uh, it's really just tech parts of the textbook. So if you have no idea what it's talking about, 
you need to find other sources to get up to date on what they're doing. Okay, uh, and then uh, so that is on the curriculum itself. For so now this is where our part comes in. I guess if you look at the material, we have the CAI material that's being passed around, and then we have our notes up here. So you can look at it and compare. Uh, don't the original is very very good. Uh, when I took the CAIA, it was painfully financially because at that time, uh, they uh, I have to buy every textbook where the parts come out from. Uh, it's if later on uh, they put it together into one book so you can buy in one shot. But before I have to buy maybe like eight to ten books where the parts are taken out of. But those are great reading. Okay? But at the same time, the note is useful in that. If you compare the length, it's about the same. But we try to summarize it so it's more of uh, understanding what, what's going on, uh, plus more of an exam focus. Okay? So the best part would be when you have a chance at the end, take a look at level two would be the best example. There's one book, level two. This is the soft copy, soft version. It's called Current and Integrated Topics. That is the part with all the research papers. So as in all research paper, the uh, academic does all the research on the data. And it, at the end, it got you know, five pages of, of tables showing what they have done. If you look at our notes, it's about the same length. But half of it is summarizing what he had done. The other half is putting the research into a, uh, a CAI exam context. So given what the academic had found, we tried to put it through into the uh, CAI curriculum. Based on that, what can be asked? Uh, what can be tested? How it be tested? And we put it into the back of the other half of the, of the book, plus in the question bank. So you don't have to read the research paper. Uh, first figure out what he's trying to do, and then link it to what's being tested in the curriculum. So that's one major good part uh, which the notes, although it's the same length, will be much better that way. Okay? So you can take a look at those and compare. Uh, it's a big difference. Uh, and then I guess the last two points is we try to focus on understanding the whole thing. If you look at most research papers in a textbook type, it explains many things in details because it goes down to the lowest denomination, assuming you don't know much. Uh, but, uh, so it takes up lots of time and, and reading time. Uh, we focus on the material that is more uh, test likely, okay, so major difference. 